people, Positive Paul, and it is Friday, September 16th, 2022. Today is uh, the Mexican Independence Day. A big grito, big shout to my Mexican friends who I've been trying to witness to down here in Rosarito Beach, Mexico, Tijuana area. I'm now in my seventh year. Uh, trying to witness about my personal situation as a white American concerning MK Ultra, satanic ritual abuse, and unfortunately for myself, these implants. But with that being said, this is a day where, you know, Mexicans celebrate their independence from Spain. And eight, September 16th, 1810, a priest by the name of Miguel Hildago had uh, did a speech that is known as the Grito de Dolores, and this would begin an 11 year war for independence from Spain. Now we know Spain around say maybe 8, 15, 15, 15, they came over here with uh, Cortez and others. They deposed the Aztecs, and then for the next 300 years, the indigenous people that we now know as Mexicans were severely oppressed, severely, um, you know, kept poor, tired, hungry, uneducated, and, you know, thank the good Lord for them that that the, the group of, of good Mexicans back then stood up to the tyranny of the Spanish. So... Look. Oh, wow, bud, that looks good. Here, let's, this is my son's breakfast. Check it out. <laughs> Viva Mexico. So, yes, the, the Mexicans were able to, after 11 years, it, I think it was 1821, officially have their independence from Spain. But the question becomes, did they trade one slave master for another? Because the reality is that, unfortunately, a lot of Mexicans, most Mexicans, the only way that they can move up the ladder, all right, find peace of mind, uh, maybe success, is to go to one location. And that's not just them. It's most of the undeveloped countries they have been taught that if they come to America, the land of the free, the home of the brave, that all their problems will be left behind. Now, um, clearly, uh, we, we witness for you know quite some time now these caravans that are moving up from South America through Mexico in, into the United States. And you have to ask the one question. If a rising tide lifts all boats, why still do you have this confusion of essentially identity? Because if most Mexicans really, um, you know, they'd rather not be in their own country due to the corruption, due to, um, you know, widespread crime, uh, all, all the nasty stuff that goes on concerning the so-called Mexican cartel, which is controlled by these American Nazi Edomite Jews Satanists, they don't get that either. Are we solving any of our problems? Or are we just going day by day? And the one, one characteristic of a lot of Mexican people is they will just flat out ignore what is really going on around them. And Unfortunately, they can be misled, misguided on, on false information concerning whether or not, you know, take me for instance. I'm supposed to be this crazy white guy, right? This crazy criminal running around that they have a whole community watch based off of that has done nothing, though, to fix the problems in their own country. In fact, they hide in their house. Now, they've been given these resources that have come from these Edomite Jew Satanists, such as, uh, what, let's, you know, go down the line. First off, it's 
these security cameras that are everywhere now, okay? The whole town's been totally turned into a, a, a police state of sorts, but yet, when all eyes are on me, the 55-year-old satanic ritual abuse survivor with implants, always broke, I can't do a thing, and, and if little, you know, let's say it was this crazy person that I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna do something. <laughs> it's impossible. So, essentially, you have me, but yet there's this nefarious group that's running around, and and it, it's gotten to the point where the police, due to their internal problems, they they have no control of the situation. So really the. The military, which is the United Nations now, and other other groups that are involved, they've so so far taken over the security. But you see more of the same. So today is a day where you just kind of ignore all this and you forget all the problems in the world. But come tomorrow, you're right back where you started. So. I've been trying to witness to these good Mexican people, which there's there's plenty of them. All, all of them are not brainwashed, and they don't understand about the Benedict Arnolds in the United States, these lazy, lying lizards. But it's the power of Christ, our Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, that has came to wash away all the sins of the world, all the, the, the nasty Everything nasty about what this existence is will soon go away. But the problem is, it's that mindset that Spain had left. The Catholic religion had inoculated, indoctrinated. Um, it's a mindset that this is just an ongoing situation. And there is no day of the Lord. I wish that we could change that. I don't know how to do it as one individual. I've been trying, but every step of the way, when I try to to present my case, they're right behind me, meaning these Satanists using the Mexican people to say that I don't know what I'm talking about. So this is kind of, yes, another rant video, but again, this is, this is a special day for Mexican people. You should be proud of your heritage. You fought for your independence. And, you know, the one takeaway is do not believe that all white people are bad. All right? I know this is what they've told you people, but trust me, um, if that was the case, there would, you, you, you would be in a, a dire situation right now because there would be no one to stop evil because the one thing about the good white people they stand up to evil a lot of good men and women tried to stand up to these satanists over the millennia and unfortunately you know for them it's uh divide conquer winner takes all and if that means that um you know, your, your enemy has to be destroyed, then, you know, you have to realize that that, that is um, something that until, until the day of the Lord ri arrives, we, we are stuck in this matrix dealing with these Satanists that have no value for life. They, you know, murder, mayhem, rape, torture, and destroying children that's what they're all about and then they pretend as if they're god-fearing people and they control everybody with the jew buck and i i hope i hope that the future brings peace but we're gonna have to you know the verdict's still out the jury's still out on this one but um again peace to my mexican friends god bless you and keep an open mind and keep moving forward.